right, let's knock this out real quick. Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yeah, hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good or excellent. What? What's up, Steamback fans? Oh, I got two videos done already. No, 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 that I need to upload. But I'm about to do, knock this out real quick and then put it out there. All right, let's 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 do this. All right, let's see. What, what's the first thing? What do we got here? Uh, free stars. The U the U Urquan Masters Open Source Star Control Two now available on Steam. All right, free star Ur free star the Urquan Masters, which is an open source version of the classic uh, Star Control, has managed to get Steam released from the Pistol Shrimp games. The developers Steam includes both of the original design Paul Ritchie and Fred Ford. They're currently working on the Urquan Master 2. The Steam release sadly only comes with the Windows version even though the main project fully supports Linux and Mac OS 2. According to the facts, the release includes a few things which are not default setting into other release like voiceover, 3DO music and other minor changes. No source codes has been modified. We we also want to bring the game to Steam to reach the millions of players who use it as their game library of choice. It's no doubt runs just fine on, in Proton though for those who want an easy click and play experience. And then it says game features experience an open world adventure venturing through space to defeat the, un, the invading Urquan and its hierarchy of battle tra trials, uh, travel through extra dimension hyper, hyper, hyperspace, and discover 500 unknown star system filled with alien worlds. <laughs> Starfield. <laughs> anyway, fight enemies in a fast-paced space battle with 25 different starships, each with its own unique attacks and, and powers. Befriend threaten or fight a diverse of cast of aliens with unique penalties from scary to funny to just plan weird. Explore thousands of planets, collecting resources and technology to upgrade your flagship and grow your fleet. Play standalone uh, super melee to practice space combat against AI or duel against a friend. And mods and think are free, uh, freely available, open source and code and content. And what is this? It says yeah, check this, check, uh, check this out on Steam store page. The game is called. Free Star, the Urquan Masters. Yeah, I got you guys covered, man. Got to get this. Got to get this news done here. All right, now, what else I got for you? Knock, knock this out real quick and put it out there so the Steam Deck fans can get it. All right, it says check out Chip with upcoming remake of one of the first programming puzzle games, originally re released back in 1984. <laughs> Chip Wits is a programming puzzle game and is getting a modern remake in Unity that will be releasing on Steam according to Steam page. It will have a native Linux support too. Chipwits is a robot coding game with no prior programming experience required. <laughs> in this game you can use icon based language to guide your robot to solve open world puzzles and resource the crew of space station taken over by rogue AI Dr. Droog. The team working on the chipset Chipwits even includes one of the original creators, uh, Doug Sharp. Sadly, the other co-creator, Mike Johnson, died in 2018, and a portion of his uh, proceeds from the new game will go towards Orsti Genesis uh, Infacto Foundation in J Johnson uh, memory from their team page. You can check the trick. Okay. And you can find Chipwits on Steam. Yeah. And, alright. What's the next thing? Knock this out real quick and get through it. Alright, let's see here. What's the other one? Gotta, gotta get you Steam Deck fans up to date, man. Anyway, here's another one. Hazard Pay is an upcoming dark, mysterious, block-pushing puzzler. Want a puzzle game that's a little bit different to, neat, to keep you wanting... To find out more, Hazard, Hazard Pay from, from Smitter Studio released late this year, and it sounds great. You've received, an, you've received another job. It pays well, but something's not right. Pack up your truck and head to the location. Your task is to clean up an accident 
in the in this dark mysterious block pushing puzzler you will navigate through a, a secret hazardous laboratory complex discover creative method to discover evidence and cover up crimes cover up the crimes of your employer <laughs> hazard pay <laughs> what a game <laughs> anyway it says anyway it says here you know it's another game being built with the free open source code uh, uh, Godot engine. Love seeing more developers use it. The same developer also made Rapid uh, Rescue as an open source reinvented Labyrinth uh, game. Says the developer told me it will be Linux support and they're aiming to get its Steam Deck verified too. You can follow on Steam. Hazard pay. <laughs> oh man, video game industry. Alright. <laughs> What's the other one? Keep pushing here. Knock this stuff out. Alright. Let's see here. What else we got? Oh, here's another one. Uh, which way does which way which way up? Space Olympic is an anti-gravity party uh, game chaos. Turtle Flip Studio plans to launch their uh, physic or psychic based anti-gravity party game, Which Way Up? Space Olympic sometime in the first quarter 2025. But there's a demo on Steam. You can try it with Linux support. Which way up? Space Olympic is designed to be the easy pick up and play, allowing players of all ages to join in on the fun through a wide range of gravity themed multiplayer mini games. In the demo, players can go hands on with six uh, Space Olympic events, which can be played with up to four players of maximum chaos. The game gives you a unique freedom of movement. Allowing you to run on walls, ceilings, orbits around planet, or fall across entire level by maneuvering through gravity fields, and genuinely looks like a riot. <laughs> it says, uh, if you enjoy the chaos, you need more chaos. Laugh with a new party game. It's one to keep an eye on. Be sure to try out the demo, which they said is now staying after initially appearing during the remote play to get it for Fest 24. You can check it out on Steam. This game is called uh, Which Way Up Space Olympics. Yeah. Alright, now, <laughs> I'm trying to knock this out here. Alright, uh, one more. And that's it. Uh, let's see. Uh oh, Humble Bundle. Let's see what they what they giving away. Oh yeah, I got two more videos to put up though after this. So anyway, and I'll be done for today. For now, anyway, <laughs> it says here, uh, Humble Bundle, IGN Fan Fest has some good stuff like Loop Heroes and Tiny Kin. IGN Fan Fest kicks off so far. There's new Humble Bundle, IGN Fan Fest, with some sweet treats you can pick up for cheap. As usual, I'll give you easy to read compatibility for Steam and desktop Linux and, and via uh, desktop Steam Deck and desktop Linux via Deck. Verified Proton DB and native Linux listing. Each is also Steam link to grab more info if you need more purchasing. Okay, what are the games? Let's see here. Loop Hero, Tiny Kin, Wobble Dogs, A Little to the Left, uh, Shantae's, Shantae and the Seven uh, Sirens, Black Book, and, Is and Islets. And that is that. Humble Bundle IGN Fan Fest. Yeah. There, we're done. No more news for you Steam Deck fans, but I got you covered up. <laughs> anyway, that's all the news I got to report though, and um, for the Steam Deck. So uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys up to date on what's going on if I find anything. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Nice talking to you people again. Chris to the Star Wars and Star Trek thing for Dark Side. Go.